<laughs> Last week she would have been faster than me. It's not as raw and yanky of the arms. I'm not one for selfie sticks right enough. I don't know if I could do that. So hey folks. I'm just out for a little ride. And there's some grey clouds over that way. More the other side of this building. So I might get rained on. While out on my CB at long last. So those that have got me on Facebook will already know. I passed my mod too first time. On Tuesday the 12th of July. So this is my first ride. And I'm only about five minutes on the bike so far. And so far so good. So I was just watching the last couple of parts to Andy GSA Tractor's NC500 trip. And I've seen them coming up here to see a castle, which kind of threw me a bit. Because there's no castles up here. There's a big stately house. But I wouldn't call it a castle. Sorry. But I've seen you then found Craig Nathan Castle after that. Which is bizarrely one I went to last year. And it was closed for the season. <laughs> but you went straight on up there. Which I've never actually done before. But I'm coming on here for a wee smoke break. And I'll maybe have a wee walk around my bike. I'll park it in the sunshine. Look at that, neutral first time. Is that because it's a Honda? So, she looks pretty good. A wee bit dusty. But a good looking little bike. There you go. I call every bike little. When you see folk like Zedhead, Moto Vlogs and his big ZZR 1400, it just makes everything else look tiny in the world of bikes. So I was just listening to two electric vehicle owners there. One was on the phone shouting at what sounded like their other half, saying that this is the third charger now I've tried and they're not working. He drove away in a rage, and the other guy there had to try two different chargers there <laughs> till he got one that was working. So, the stresses and strains of EVs, EV life. So I'll come up this way, the way Andy went. I've never actually drove up here before.
Yeah, you certainly feel it a little bit heavier. Land the MT. And a short couple of spells. I've opened the throttle. <laughs> it definitely pulls a lot harder. But so far, without ripping my arms off, which is what I found the MT-07s were doing. <laughs> I've actually had an elbow strain for about three or four months now. I'm partially blaming the MT-07s that I was learning on. Although they were good bikes. Uh, it's good solid bikes. I noticed a difference in the gear change right away when going from a 125 to a 700. Uh, it's just built that little bit heavier. More heavy duty. my first little twisty section but I'll be going light <laughs> I'll be going very lightly <laughs> the aforementioned dust blowing off I think but no goodness what a difference in power oh unbelievable compared to the MT125 that is I wouldn't say it felt much slower than the MT07 it just feels a bit more Subdued. Is that a good word? Subdued. It's not as raw and Yankee of the arms. So I uh, passed with two miners on my mod two. You were allowed ten, I'm sure I heard. Uh, so I got one was for stopping in a bus stop which threw me because right at the beginning of the test before we set off the guy said to me that if I got lost or we got separated from each other he said pull over I could pull over in a bus stop or a double yellow line but only today on my test which I thought was a bit weird uh, so I got a minor for stopping in a bus stop at one point I think he gets stuck at a roundabout behind me and I got another minor for the same again he gets stuck at a set of lights I think and I carried on and I stopped this was on a housing estate and I stopped in front of somebody's driveway leading into their house so, two very minor faults. So, no, I'm so relieved. So relieved it was. I'd said that a few times, it's pretty stressful. Uh, and I deal with stress quite well the majority of the time. <laughs> so I thought. <laughs> uh, another thing I failed to mention is the guy that was out doing my test, following me in my test he was in a Ford Ranger pickup he wasn't on a bike and I only actually discovered that that can happen about a week or so before my test so it, it worked for me unfortunately it never worked for the guy that I was out on the pre-test lesson with or the pre-mod to lesson which was like a hour and a half, two hour lesson before the actual test 
and his name was George. Yeah, the same George. So, couldn't believe it, George was there again. So he finally passed his Mod 1, obviously, or he wouldn't have been doing his Mod 2. And... Unfortunately, he flunked his Mod 2. He left his indicator on. And... It was an instant fail, I think. It was at a junction and there was a couple of joggers, I heard the guy saying, waiting to cross, and if they'd ran across the road thinking that he was turning, that could have been quite fatal. So he'll definitely smash it next time. I've got totally, total confidence in you this time, George, if you're ever watching and listening. I never even got the chance to tell you I actually had this little YouTube channel. So I'll keep my eyes peeled for you in the future, did. So how's the view from here? From where you guys are seeing it? A little bit different. A little change of dash. <laughs> you still call it a dash? Yeah, you do. Sitting on the bike, it just feels very similar to the MT which I'd worked out already because there's an, a motorcycle ergonomics thing you can go on and you put in your mod, the model of the bike that you fancy and your height and inside uh, leg size and that sort of shows you an image of what you would look like sitting on the bike what way your knees would be pointing and what way is your way your head and your arms etc and there was only a degree or so I think in a difference uh, between the MT and this CB but it's definitely wider I can feel it's wider between my legs <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying anything I'm holding back uh, let's get more girth. <laughs> but now it's raining. So now I'm out test ride, test riding it in the rain. First ride, first ride in the rain. Hopefully I'm not playing Crowded House four seasons in one day by the end of this. But that is Scotland. We'll have hailstones in a minute. And then the sun will be back out again. Last week she would have been faster than me. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. But no, I've enjoyed my experience riding the 125s. It gave me some bad habits, so I'll, I'll give it that. But it made me appreciate what I've got now and what I'll even have more in the future. Well that's crappy, it's rained. Crappy, crappy, crappy. I was down here a while back on the MT. I said before I'm drawn to water. And now it seems I'm drawn to water and bridges. But no, that was a nice wee de-stress. So the rain went off there. The sun came out and dried up all the rain. But the bike is still very dusty. <laughs> so I'll definitely have to give it a wash. A little sponge bath. Oh, and I've done it again. I don't do this very often right enough because I just leave my key in my bike normally when I get off it <laughs> but I had the little 
don't know what you call it, what do you call that? This part, I put the key in that and you can lift it off and you can get a couple of things in it. Oh. More pedestrians thinking I'm crazy, standing about talking to myself. I could have been on the phone, who knows? In my opinion, we seem more crazy walking about, talking to yourself with an earpiece in, in public, than I ever will speaking inside my helmet. I'm not one for selfie sticks right enough. I don't know if I could do that. I feel quite hesitant on the road uh, on the road back here. Mostly down to it being my first time out on the bike and it's raining and I'm on a set of tires, I've no idea how good they are in the wet or in the dry or anything. They're a set of Dunlop, I'll put the model number up here. Up there somewhere down there. I'll, I'll put it somewhere. You can let me know if you've used them or if you know anything about them. I like getting other people's outlooks on stuff. Opinions. You can't beat people's advice and recommendations and experiences. Fox. It's my first time on the motorway on my CB500F. Um, I mean in general this is the first time ever on the motorbike. On a motorway. I know I never went on in the 125 once. <laughs> Just once. By a complete accident. It was the day I lost the stickers. And another few things I found out at a later date I lost as well. Uh, and I lost my mind clearly as well, so I went on the M77 coming back. And I wasn't filming because my camera was dead. My batteries were all done by then. So I broke the law. And I had to travel for about 10 miles on the motorway. I managed to do like 70 plus the whole way. So, that was good. I didn't stick out like a sore thumb. Besides having L plates on. So I'll leave you this folks. Take it easy. Peace out. And cheers for watching.